This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part two of the air condition tutorial. Let's jump right back in here. So we were creating this one side, and let's see. Let's just go on and create. Let's just copy this. So select it all, deselect the main thing here, and we'll just shift drag over and position it accordingly. Right about there. Good. Alright, now we have both sides of that done. And while we're here, we're going to want to select all these three things. Um, let's see, this might cause problems, but we'll see. And extrude these just a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to want to delete this and delete this one over here. See, this is going to cause a little bit of a problem. No, delete that. Actually, I don't want to do this. Let's. Mm, let's start with this side first while I think about the other side. So just extrude this. Okay. And you're going to want to press F3 and select that back polygon there. And once you have that done, you want to go up here, drag this, and then select the verts in this general area, weld, and you should see there's a difference by two, and they're welded together. This will create a base for our little air conditioned things. And over here on the cheap way, which I did, which proved to be the wrong way, let's delete this entire uh, polygon here. Actually, let's not delete it all. Let's uh, select the top and the bottom. Connect, hopefully one. Bring this one over. Select this front piece, delete it. And let's go to the verts. Target weld these two faces together, and voila, problem solved. So the border, okay, problem not entirely solved. Um, select these three edges, shift drag out, should create a little face for you, and drag them right to the end, do this, oops, do the same thing with the verts, you see the difference, select this little top piece right here, and cap it, and there we go, no one will know what happened, we fixed it all, so that's that piece. And let's see, next we're going to want to just add a little bit of detail. So select one of the little edge pieces here and let's ring it. We're going to want to connect with two and decrease the radius a bit. Um, let's shift it up a little bit. And then control click the polygons and press shrink extrude and okay let's see what did I get wrong I want to extrude in the local normal but I don't know how to do that ah there it is local normal these fancy new settings throw everyone an issue and just indent that a bit alright and so be like um, uh, I don't know what it is some type of joint, I guess. Alright, uh, next, let's just select these. Alright, see so I could make these a group, but eh, I don't want to do that. And go to um, E for rotate, change this to local, and then let's just rotate them down. This will make it look like you know, they're, they're pointing kind of towards the ground. And also, it will give the impression, looking at it, that there's a depth to it. So, let's do the same thing for the other side. And, oops, we'll be a little smarter this time and just, well, preferably not do that. If, ever, if that ever happens to you where you're using a, a circle, just tap Q a few times and this little icon up here will change. So, there we go. Deselect 
those E local and rotate them down. Doesn't have to be the same angle because they rarely are anyway. And all right, that's good to go. So back to W for move, and let's do this part right here. So we have our little. Actually, we don't want to extrude. We want to inset a bit. Inset this just a tad. And let's press OK. Extrude it back a little bit. Just about point minus point three three five. Inset by the same amount you did before. Extrude by a positive point three three five. Or whatever ver whatever number uh, you used before, and then we're gonna want to let's see what do we want to do now? Uh, drag that back a little bit actually, so not the full amount. All right, Control click the edges so you just have the outer edges selected, and chamfer. Give it a relatively small chamfer with two segments to smooth it up. Alright, and let's go into the left hand viewport here. And who's it going to be? Actually we can cheat. So, select those little, uh, whatchamacallems, fins, except for the big one, and copy them over. Okay, go to rotate, you, stu you should still be on local and then rotate them right back to where they started. You can go in any view you want and just flatten them out. Once you have them, go back into your perspective. And again, F3 is what uh, lets me be wireframe. Select one and just place it right back in the middle. And there we go, we have more slats to work with. So, select those and what do we want to do here? Actually save. All right. Now that it's saved, you don't have to save just in case it crashes. Let's just scale these outward. And you're gonna want to get it so that these slats sink right into the edges on one side. So there we go. And on the other side, and of course they didn't. So what do I want to do? Let's increase their length a bit more, just so you can see them coming out of this side, and they're not quite touching on this side, so you push them in, they go on that side, and they go on this side. There we go. So those worked, and let's actually bring them out a little bit more, because we want to try to get some depth here. Now you're going to want to select one, preferably on the top, and copy it 90 degrees just slide it down all right it should not go through but intersect perfectly all right we can select the verts in the top here and just drag those down as well and let's do that all right good there and then you're going to want to move this one select the entire thing again and move this a little bit behind so right about there and then we're going to want to create two at approximately the same distance apart two more at least so copy one there and copy one there actually a little more let's try there and select this one and bring it out a little more you can, I'm just going to eyeball it, but if you want, you can create, use the box method to get perfect dimensions. Next, let's copy this. Again, bring it over here. Press R, and let's make it a bit thicker. All right. And a bit thicker in both directions. I guess we only want one. I'm just kind of bring it back. These are kind of like, I guess, reinforcement pieces on these sides, and they can just kind of sink right in but make sure they're not sticking out. Alright, I'll copy it over. And do the same 
thing. Alright. Looks good. Alright. And next, we're going to want to let's start work on the top piece here. For some reason, it looks kind of big. Um, let's go to box and then bring it down because the height here should be four so minus four and yeah it is a bit big so let's just set our box there it will poly top three polygons and just shrink it down exit and delete now you're going to want to select these front three parts here and pull them back about an inch and a half so these, I don't remember how big they were, but they're going to want to be behind them a little bit, so kind of like that. Make it almost raised, or kind of this shape here, because we're going to have the controls here, uh, little indentations and whatnot. So that's good. Let's, um, what do we want to do now? Let's make the little crease. So select this top line here, ring, and what did it give me? All right, and select this and ring, uh, this and ring, and hopefully we press connect. Oh yeah, it worked. So connect. You only want one. Okay, and just kind of drag it over. Press R and scale inward. This will line everything up for you. And we're going to want this pretty far back. Uh, actually, that's not bad. So chamfer this. And you're going to want only one chamfer. And pretty small. Control click polygons. Shrink. Just like before. And we're actually going to bevel this one. So first, let's make it on local normal. Next, let's decrease every aspect of it, because I don't quite know what's happening. Ah, there we go. We want this to be really small. Come on. And this to be inward. Alright. So, make them smaller. Be careful not to make it too small. Alright, uh, that looks good to me. Just take it off, make sure you can clearly see it. Nice. Alright, F4, put those lines back. And now let's start working on this section here. So there's actually two pieces that we're going to want to do. So let's inset it once. Don't drag it too much the first time. There we go. Inside at once. And then we're going to want to um, select this, this edge right here and this edge and connect. Alright. And then let's select this edge and this edge and connect those and delete this one. Or backspace actually. And make sure you get the little verts there. I'm just trying to eliminate us, trying to have to move this manually, I guess. And alright, so let's see, there's also a little thing here. So select these, connect. We want two connections and increase the size a little bit. Okay, and then connect again. You're going to want two connections again. Set backspace on the top one. Alright. And let's see, this will have to do it for part two. Uh, in part three, we'll continue with the little controls panel and do a little bit more detailing, and we'll see what happens after that. Thanks.